Now, the Green Party's spring conference is getting underway in Liverpool this afternoon. The party's co-leaders, Jonathan Bartley and Caroline Lucas, will be getting onto the stage, I think, in just about over an hour's time. In the joint address, they'll say that the government's Brexit strategy is extreme and a much a right-wing coup. Joining me now is the party's deputy leader, Amelia Womack. Uh, Amelia Womack, uh, in what, uh, I perfectly understand you're against Brexit. Many people are. Uh, and some people call it a hard Brexit. But you're calling an extreme Brexit. Why is it extreme? Well, afternoon, Andrew, and thank you for having me today. And it's an extreme Brexit because, quite frankly, nobody voted for this type of Brexit, for taking us out of the single market, to taking us out of the customs union, to potentially turning the UK into a tax haven. We've got people saying that it's going to be, there's going to be a bonfire of red tape and what we know as, um, is that that red tape is actually our human rights, our workers' rights and our environmental protections and that we need to be making sure that we do not allow the UKIP, the Conservatives, some of the right-wing press to destroy so, those rights that protect people. So if any of that was true, and I would suggest all of it is contentious, but if any of it was true, why has the European Union reaction been so conciliatory? Um, could you repeat that? Uh, if any of what you've said is true, why has the European Union reaction been so conciliatory and say, yes, we can do a deal on this? But it's about the future of the UK. It's about making sure that when we've got the Great Repeal Bill that isn't transparent, yeah. that no, isn't no, I'm not asking about the Great re Repeal, repeal that, Bill. Um, I mean, how this works is that I, I ask the question and, and try to get you to, to, to answer the, this. Sure. And my, and my, and I, I my, my it, question it, was, if it's so extreme, why does the European Union, in its response, think it can do business with us? I mean, because we can have trade deals, but that's not the same as being in the single market. It's not the same as protecting those rights, and it's not the, the same position to be in. And it's, um, we can be talking about deals, but we do not know what's on the table. Sure. And um, that's why we're, we're also talking about having a ratification referendum, of making sure that the EU referendum was quite simply sure. just the beginning of the process. No, I just and, said, um, it's this word extreme. I mean, you bandy about words like extreme and right-wing coup. Where's the right-wing coup? I missed that bit. What happened in the... Who, who led the right-wing coup? I think when, when we talk about a right-wing coup, it's about looking at the fact that when we talk about a hard Brexit, it's not about being tough. No, you it's talk about an extreme about Brexit. It's about something that people didn't vote for, that the Leave campaign did not say we would leave oh. the single market. The yes, Conservative they did. Party manifesto yes, they didn't did. say, um, the Conservative manifesto didn't have any of this in it. We have a, a government that is not elected based on these, these policies. And um, that is extreme because it means that the democracy has not been at the very heart of this. Um, extreme Bre Brexit was not hard Brexit, extreme Brexit, soft okay. Brexit was not on the ballot paper All and it was not something that people specifically voted for. But. Uh the Prime Minister said, I want the United Kingdom to emerge stronger, fairer, more united, more outward looking than ever before. I want us to be secure, prosperous and tolerant. What's the extreme bit in that? Well, it also feels like they have a blank check to do whatever they like to push through certain policies on, as, a ve as a result of the vehicle No, but, of no, but Brexit, on the Prime Minister's, reducing, wor on the Prime Minister's words... Didn't ask about blank tax. checks. The words that she said there, what bit of that was extreme? I was going to say that when she, it's like she's got a, bl a blank check because um, even yeah. though those words might be taken lightly, when we're, you're talking about reducing tax for us to be competitive, where does that end when we need that taxation for our infrastructure, for our NHS, for the, for the very services that deliver, um, mm. th that deliver the way that this country works you, and um, the potential right. by turning the UK into but, a tax haven? Well, well except um, that, no, that Labour has accused the government of that. The government's never used uh, these words. But you... You use the word extreme, but let's just look at the position of the government a number of things at the moment. It wants the closest possible relationship with the EU. It is in favour of continued participation in NATO. It's in favour of free trade and it wants to manage migration but not stop m migration. Your party is against NATO, against defence spending in favour of no controls on immigration and now largely against free trade. I wonder who the extreme party really is. I would suggest it's maybe you. 
And you just said that the Prime Minister talked about tolerance, yet it's talking about using migrants as a bargaining chip within no, this no, no, deal. It, it, that it, we it, have look, a... look, every time I ask you a question, you answer one that I haven't asked you. I'm saying to you that your party's policies on a range of areas from being against globalization and free trade, against defense spending, against NATO, against any kind of control on immigration whatsoever, that's the extreme policies. I mean, we're actually not against control on migration. It's about ensuring that we have a more human, human form of migration that ensures that families aren't separated, that um, we are able to have nurses in our NHS because um, they're not being deported as a result so, of the NHS not paying them yeah. enough. But, but, but quite frankly, at the heart of policy, you, What controls in immigration would you have? So making sure that we are reuniting families, to making yeah. sure that we're not um, deporting people who That's don't earn enough in our, in our NHS that deliver fundamental services. Of course, and these are all but, Andrew, great, like to, great aims, but they're not controls. And it's, it, it's still not a, a, an open borders policy, and I think that at the moment, just having a very arbitrary tick box exercise for migrants um, isn't working and um, just quite it, it is ignoring the fact that actually many of the problems that we have in the UK as a result of failure of government policy mm. there aren't enough houses because we have not built enough housing okay. there aren't enough um, the, the right. people so aren't be, receiving you're not a, a in living favor of wage controlling. Because, um, you would have the border open but we should as you many people say we should build more homes build more schools have better public services uh, for the people that are coming to this country but you wouldn't control the numbers would you I mean, but we'd be making sure that families are reunited. It's a, I mean, it's a long-term ambition. It would be, we would um, see that an open borders policy would be fantastic. But at the All moment, right. that, that's not what we're talking about. We are talking okay. about just making sure we're not um, stopping people coming to the UK as a result of arbitrary reasons. I mean, you might have seen that um, even for the visa application of this conference, that we had um, a woman that was turned away because she was single. Um, somebody who was um, turned a, a away because she was single. Yes, because um, she wasn't in a relationship, was the, what our, our um, home office gave as a reason for her to oh. be unable to uh, attend a conference here in the UK. And when the Conservative government say that we're open for business, it's conferences like this that mean that we're open for business, okay. that we all have that global perspective. All right, Amelia Womack, we're going to have to stop there, but I thank you for, for that. Enjoy the rest of your conference and thank you for thank being you, uh, with us.